The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says that high densities of hydrogen have built up in pipes connected to the number one reactor. Tokyo Electric Power Company says that an explosion is unlikely as there is no oxygen in the pipes, but that it will begin work to drain the gas starting on Thursday. TEPCO began measuring the density of the gas on Wednesday after finding it accumulating in pipes connected to the reactor's containment vessel late last week. It found that the density of hydrogen was high at between 61 to 63 percent. The utility believes that the hydrogen is likely the remains of gas that caused explosions at the plant in March following the quake and tsunami disaster. It has also promised to check the density of hydrogen in pipes in the number two and number three reactors in line with instructions from Japan's nuclear safety agency. Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is a step closer to the state of cold shutdown. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say the temperature of the number two reactor fell below 100 degrees Celsius for the first time since the March 11th disaster. Cold shutdown means the temperature inside a reactor stays steadily below 100 degrees. TEPCO workers measure the temperature in the lower area of the number two reactor. It stood at 99.4 degrees as of 5 p.m. local time on Wednesday. The temperature in two other damaged reactors, number one and three, has stayed below 100 degrees since August. TEPCO officials say their cooling efforts have delivered results, but they say it's too early to declare a state of cold sub shutdown for Fukushima Daiichi's three damaged reactors. The utility now says it is important their cooling system remains reliable for cold shutdown to be achieved. The Environment Ministry says it will build facilities to temporarily store irradiated soil in Tokyo and seven prefectures in eastern and northeastern Japan. Vice Environment Minister Hideki Minamikawa made the announcement on Wednesday. We'd like to quickly decide on the locations of storage facilities. That will allow us to make progress in removing radioactive substances. And not just Fukushima, other prefectural governments should also provide storage. Local governments have been trying to remove radioactive materials since the crisis began at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, but they're struggling to find places to store mud and sludge generated by the decontamination. The Environment Ministry is planning to build the facilities in Tokyo and four other neighboring prefectures and in three prefectures in the Tohoku region. The ministry says it will soon explain the plan to each local government. A government panel says that Tokyo Electric Power Company was unprepared for the Fukushima accident and failed to take steps to minimize the damage. No shit. The committee investigating the accident held its third meeting on Tuesday. It met behind closed doors, saying that allowing media access would negatively affect its interviews with the plant staff. After the meeting, panel leader Yotaro Hatamura spoke with reporters. If the company had assumed an accident might happen, they could have made preparations. But they hadn't considered this at all. Hatamura added that the group will further investigate why the utility was unable to contain the damage from the accident. The panel is scheduled to release an interim report on its probe at the end of the year. Come on to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs.
The United Nations says the Earth's population is projected to reach 7 billion at the end of October, bringing greater challenges to humankind. The UN Population Fund says the planet's population has grown by an average of 78 million annually over the last 50 years, increasing from 3 billion to 7 billion. At a news conference on Wednesday, the head of the fund's Tokyo office, Kyoko Ikegami, said developing countries will find it increasingly difficult to secure food, water and natural resources. All UN members must cooperate to counter problems in a world with 7 billion people. No one can live without the influence of environmental factors. The fund plans to hold symposiums and photo exhibits on the population issue in various countries in October.